Hello, my nerdlings. If you're new here, my name is Nikki. Welcome to my channel where we get nerdy. Today, we're going to have a very relaxed video. I got my hot cocoa. I'm basically going to do an update as to what I've read, what I'm currently reading, the plans for what I read next, and just a little update on for the channel. As you can tell, I don't sound like my normal self because I'm stupid, stupid sick. And that's because kids are petri dishes. So, and I've been drinking hot cocoa like crazy because it's the only thing that helps my throat. Yep. So, we'll get into it. I'll start with what I have read. So on my lovely Kindle, um, I will figure out how I could insert cover art here. I haven't done that before, so it's going to be a process. Um, I was just looking through um, the Kindle books, and there was a deal for these books by an author. They're World War II romance and I just I needed something different like I wasn't feeling fantasy I wasn't feeling sci-fi I said screw it let's try it I read his trilogy enjoyed it bought her second trilogy and enjoyed that as well <laughs> she has a third trilogy that I haven't bought yet um but fun thing was they were Christian fiction. I didn't realize it until I started reading them. And there was a lot of religious references, which I don't care. Apparently I can look past that and just enjoy the story for what it is. Um, so there was that, that I, I read six eBooks and I don't like reading on my Kindle. I like the hard, the hard books. So they, they were pretty good for what they were. Um, there was, I gotta look up the titles because I can't remember them off the top of my head. Oh, come on. There we go. And these will probably not be in order. Oh, gosh. You know what? Where's my phone? I'll just pull up Goodreads. Hold on. All right, so I have my Goodreads up. The first book, uh, the author's name is Sarah Sundin. First book, so the first trilogy I read was Wings of the Nightingale. Um, and Sarah Sundin's the author. First book is With Every Letter. Second book is On Distant Shores. And the third book is In Perfect Time. And, so that is the first book. And second. And third. Um, they were good. They were good. I enjoyed them for what they were. Um, I didn't realize how much I liked World War II books. Um, the next one was, um, this was more naval based. So they're called Waves of Freedom is the trilogy. So first book we have, ooh, yeah, I can't really read the title, Through Waters Deep. Anchor in the Storm, and then When Tides Turn. Um, still, good books. I enjoyed them. I will probably read her last trilogy because I enjoyed it that much. So, those of our those were our ebooks that we started with. So, set that right there. The next book I read 
was Once Upon a Cape Prom by Cat Cho. Um, this I will have an entire reading vlog for. Sorry about that. This I will have an entire reading blog for. Um, this was basically a Korean drama in a book. It has all the romance tropes. And yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. For I needed it. I needed a, a pick-me-up because before that, I read... I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. This book, I got about two-thirds of the way through, and just the story, I knew it was going to be tough to read, but it was tougher than I expected, and so I'm just like, I can't go any further. I'm going to count it as completed, because I did make it more than 50% of the way through, it just, it broke my heart and it made me so upset and I feel so bad for her. Like, I just want to give her a hug, um, in non creeper way. Uh, so after reading this, I needed to pick me up. So I picked up once upon a K prom. Um, if you decide you want to read this, I highly recommend looking at trigger warnings first. And then the la the most recent book I have finished was The Keeper of Night by Kylie Lee Baker. Um, this is about Ren. She is half British Reaper, half Japanese Shinigami, and she's basically trying to find where she fits in the world because neither side accept her for who she is. Um, I really enjoyed this. I absolutely love uh, mythology-based stories and this delves into Japanese mythology quite a bit and I really enjoyed that so that's what else I had read what I am currently reading is a buddy read with my friend Brian and that is Ruination by Anthony Reynolds this is a League of Legends novel it is about Viego <clears throat> the ruined king um, and Callista. Callista is his niece. He's the king. Uh, I can tell you some of the stuff because it's right in the synopsis. Um, an assassin poisoned Viego's wife. And so Callista goes on a quest to try and find a cure. I'm further than what my bookmark says I am. Um, because I was listening to the audiobook earlier and I wasn't doing like a full immersion read. I was just listening um, while breastfeeding Leon. So this book, super good. I just realized that there's art on the undercover, like on the dust jacket, um, because I take my dust jackets off when I read my hardcover books because they just make them slippery. So I have some issues with this book, but that's because I play League of Legends that I have issues with this book. Like I was, what I expect of characters in here are not how I perceive characters in the game, if that makes sense. So then moving on to our upcoming reads. If I can grab them all at once. Our upcoming reads is going to be um, Feather and Flame, Reflection, The Magnolia Sword, and Flame in the Mist. We are going to, I am going to, not we, unless you want to participate and read these books. Um, it's basically going to be a Mulan retelling type of month. I probably will not start these until the beginning of November, so November is going to be a Milan month. And, yeah, so these are all Mulan retellings. I think they're all considered YA. I've read Reflection before and really enjoyed it. 
so I'm totally ready for a, um, a reread. <coughs> and these other ones I haven't read before, so we'll see how that goes. So those are the tentative plans. We'll set those right there. And then in my notebook, I have a whole checklist of videos to film that you can be expecting. We have unhauls, reviews, unpopular bookish opinions, which I'm super excited for. Um, do do a shop with me video. I've never done one and I really want to do one. Um, intimidating reads, which that will probably come after my shop with me video because they're some of the books that I really want to pick up that I'm waiting for my Barnes and Noble to get in because last time I was there, they were out are part of that intimidating reads list. Um, basically I'm going to do a video about series series I want to continue, series I've DNF'd, series I want to start, that kind of thing. So I have a ton of plans for this channel that will probably get me through more than to the next year. So if you would like to see more of my face, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you liked the video, please give it the thumbs up. It really helps. Um, and comment down below what you've read lately, what um, you want to read next. I'm curious. Or what you're currently reading. And tell me how you feel about some of the books you've been reading. I'm really curious. I like hearing how people talk about books. I have spent the past since Friday, just watching um, Jimmy Nuts over at the Fantasy Network. Um, he has this show that he does um, every every other Friday night. Um, it's like a podcasty type sit down chat, long discussion about books. And sometimes there's video games involved. Sometimes it's we talk there. They talk about Rings of Power and House of Dragons and you know, film adaptations. And I've just been binging it, having it in the background while I do stuff. And I thoroughly enjoy it. I highly recommend it to go check out Jimmy's channel. He's funny. The people he has on are fantastic. I absolutely love Alan over at the Library of Alexandria. It's another one I would go recommend. Booktube Jeopardy is so much fun. <laughs> I binged that when I was on bed rest and I can't wait for the next episode to come. So that's, and we'll add that to the update as well. What I've been watching. Um, I've been watching rings of power. Um, and she Hulk. I enjoyed she Hulk. Um, I don't want to give spoilers, but, uh, I'm definitely enjoying She-Hulk more than some of the other series that Disney has put out under the Marvel umbrella. Um, Rings of Power. I have never read Lord of the Rings, so I don't know how much you can take my opinion for it with. Um, but I'm enjoying it. I enjoyed it so much that... I went and watched the extended versions of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, watched the movies, because I'm like, I know that these tie together somewhere, and there's got to be references in the original movie. Uh, so I did, and I was like, oh, oh, it's, I, I just love it, and I watched it with my son, Nikolai, my 10-year-old. So we finally introduced him into the whole Tolkien world, and I'm just excited. Um, I do have Lord of the Rings, the books, that I will read at some point. That's one of those intimidating reads. Um, yeah. And then I watch 911. Like, <laughs> it's probably one of those that people would consider trash TV, but 
just something about that firehouse paramedic rescue show I like. I just enjoy it. So that's what I've been watching. Rings of Power, um, She-Hulk, and 911. Oh, and Ink Master. The new season of Ink Master because I don't know if you know this, I was a good Charlotte fangirl way back when. So seeing Joel Madden on Ink Master makes me super happy. And even though I'm not a tattoo artist and I can't draw to save my fucking life, I'm super analytical about how tattoos look. And I'm sorry for swearing. Good thing I'm not monetized or I would have just lost it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I'm definitely team Ant. I love Anthony. I love his work. And he's super humble and calm. And it's very different from everybody else that's on Ink Master. <laughs> so, but anyways, let me know what you've been watching. Or what you want to watch. Give me some recommendations. I could use them. But remember, until next time, you are loved and you are valid.